Hello everyone! This video will show how to change slope intercept form of a line to its equivalent point slope form. So pretty much we are given the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b and we're supposed to transform this to its equivalent point slope form y minus y sub 1 equals m quantity x minus x sub 1 where the coordinate x sub 1 y sub 1 is one of the points on the line. Before we go further, please feel free to check out the description below for the link of the other series of topics related to linear equations. Before we go over this example that we have right here, let's have a review on the basics of slope-intercept form of a line and point-slope form of a line. So if we are given a point that touches the y-axis at 0b, this is our y-intercept. And if we are given the slope of this line, then we can go ahead and use the formula y equals mx plus b, where our m is the slope, the b is the y-intercept. On the other hand, sometimes the slope is not given, but another point is given. So if another point is given, we can go ahead and solve for the slope of the line using these two points, and we can still use the equation y equals mx plus b. So if we are given the slope of a line and a point, we label this as x1, y1, we can go ahead and determine the equation of this line by using the formula y minus y sub 1 equals m quantity x minus x sub 1, where our m is the slope and the coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1 is a point on the line. Sometimes the slope is not given, but another point is given. We can go ahead and solve for the slope of the line using these two points, and we still can use the point slope form. We just have to pick which of those two points we use to replace the y1 and x1 in the equation. <laughs> Okay, going back here, again, our target is to change the slope-intercept form of a line to its equivalent point-slope form. Now, let's look at some examples to better see how we can do this. Okay, in this problem, we're supposed to change the equation of the line y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 4 to its equivalent point-slope form. So, looking at the equation that we have right here, we have our slope here is negative 2 over 3 and our y-intercept is 4. So then we go ahead and set up the equation in point-slope form. So the general equation for point-slope form would be y minus y sub 1, but instead of writing y sub 1, we're going to put a blank on it and that is equal to m quantity x minus x sub 1. We put a blank on it because we're going to pick, we're going to determine those coordinate x, y value for these, uh, from these blanks right here. So then we go ahead and um, remember that, again, this first blank is y sub 1, and this is a spot for x sub 1. So then we go ahead and determine what are the values that we put into this blank. So let's um, pick a number. We can actually pick a number that we put into any of these, but let's pick a number that we put into x sub 1. Let's say this x sub 1 is 10. Again, you can pick any number here. So if we put a 10 there, so then we go ahead and solve for our y sub 1. In order that we can do that, we are going to use the equation y sub 1 equals m x sub 1 plus b. So we plug the values in. Our slope m is negative 2 over 3. The x sub 1 that we picked is 10. So I'm going to put that up here. And then our b value is 4. So that is a plus 4. So then we simplify this. Negative 2 thirds times 10 is negative 20 over 3 plus 4. So we cannot add negative 20 over 3 plus 4. So we need to make their denominators the same. So we can go ahead and multiply 4 by 3 over 3 so that their denominators are the same. So this would come out negative 20 over 3 plus 12 over 3. 
And so our y sub 1, if we add these two together, this would come out negative 8 over 3 because their denominator is the same. That's 3, negative 20 plus 12 is negative 8. And this is the number that we put into the blank up here. So that's the number that we put in here. So this will be negative 8 thirds. And so the equation that we have, if our x sub 1 is 10, the possible equation in point-slope form would be y plus, because you have a negative times negative is a positive, that's 8 over 3 equals m, and then that is x minus 10. So this is the equivalent point-slope form of this equation that we have up here. Now I'd like you to try this um, next example. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the general equation of point slope form. Suppose I will pick, again, we can pick any value for x sub one, but suppose for example, in this problem, I will pick negative six for x sub one. Now I'd like you to figure out what will be the y sub one value if the x sub one is negative six. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, we're going to solve for our y sub 1. The equation that we're going to have would be y sub 1 equals mx sub 1 plus b. Our y sub 1 is missing. We already have determined that um, negative 6 is our x sub 1. So that would come out our m is negative 2 over 3. Our x sub 1 is negative 6. So I'm going to put negative 6 in here, and then that is a plus 4, which is the B. So then we go ahead and multiply this. That would be negative 2 thirds times negative 6. That will give us a positive 12 over 3 plus 4. 12 over 3 is 4. So then I go ahead and write 4 plus 4. Our value for Y sub 1 then is Eight. So this is our value for y sub 1, and this is the value that we put into the blanks that we have set up in the beginning. So this will be 8. So then our final equation would be y minus 8 equals our slope here is uh, 2 over 3. So that is 2 over 3. And then that is x plus 6. So this is the equivalent point slope form of this equation that we have up there. Now this m here can be changed to negative 2 over 3. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. So these two equations that we have here are equivalent equation and they are in point slope form. What does this tell us? In the first one that we have right here, this tells us that point 10 and negative 8 over 3 is one of the points on the line. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down here. On the other hand, the point negative 6, 8, is also on the line. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down here. So again, you can come up with infinite number of equivalent point slope form. All you have to do is to put in a value for x sub 1 and solve for y sub 1. Again, you can come up with infinite possibilities here. So these are just two of those infinite possibilities. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah! Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!